Some people might suggest that this particular story indeed suits Meghan and Harry. As ever though, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to have your company. By the way, a couple of days ago, I just forgot to mention this, but uh, I just wanted to let everybody know this, sadly, way back in the early 90s, 1991, was the time that we lost the brilliant, of course, Freddie Mercury, the Queen frontman. What a talent he was. It's always nice to remember super talented people. As I say, I was lucky enough to meet Freddie Mercury on a couple of occasions. Very shy man in the flesh. Until you get to know him, then he was a little bit, shall we say, outrageous. But he was good fun. And, you know, for me, I think for so many people who bought their albums, uh, you know, when they were younger, what a sound. Totally unique and supremely talented, you know. He wrote a lot of their big hits. And he wasn't frightened to tell you that they had him because he wrote the hits. I like people like that, don't you? Know your value. Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. Interesting, as I say, with all of these leaks and stuff coming out of this uh, particular salacious book. And we told you before about this particular story, which I found very strange and included, of course, in Prince Harry's book. But there is no absolute record of this. You see, very early on when Prince Harry was dating Meghan Markle, she popped over to Kensington Palace. And of course, you know, they were sort of in the midst, if you like, of meeting people and all that sort of stuff. Megan zipping out, tipping off the paparazzi while she went to Whole Foods in Kensington, proving, of course, that she was a vegan, even though on the night that they sort of proposed, he was roasting a chicken. Confused, you see? Never ever the same story twice. What is interesting though was this particular story because as we all now know, according to Prince Harry and as ever, we have to say allegedly, when they finally met the Prince and Princess of Wales, Meghan claimed that she thought formalities were left at the door. Very quickly apparently, according to her, they weren't. It was as stiff and formal as one would expect of a royal meeting. Again, a little bit of, shall we say, grey area in there. And then, of course, Prince Harry claimed that they couldn't believe that he was dating this beautiful actress from the TV series Suits. Apparently, they were dedicated fans, never missed an episode, etc. According to a very well-placed source, both William and Catherine had never really heard of Suits, you know, so one might suggest, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, that Harry possibly inserted this in to soothe the ego of his wife. Meghan Markle. I mean, why would they be watching Suits? It wasn't that big over here. Maybe they saw an episode, but as I say, a well-placed source tells me that, of course, Catherine and William certainly were not avid Suits fans. Either way. Now, another story's emerged about the dismissal from Frogmore Cottage, and apparently one senior royal behind this particular dismissive was none other than the Princess Royal, Her Royal Highness Princess Anne. Again, absolute total fabrication. Princess Anne would have nothing to do with anything of that level. Yes, His Majesty the King may have suggested it, but she wouldn't want to get involved in family affairs. The one thing that the Princess Royal's very good at is keeping back from all the squabbles, all the fights, etc. She just wants to get on with the job in hand, which is that of a life of service, looking after the charities, the events, and representing the British monarchy expertly, I believe, around the world. So quite where this author's got this, and where does this particular lead to is just again farcical because when you think about it when Prince Harry did turn up at the coronation the one person that he seemed to connect to and have some warmth back and forth from was indeed the Princess Royal so if she was so instrumental in removing him from that particular living agreement at Frogmore Cottage in of course Windsor Grounds well why would it be so chummy you can just see how slapdash this story has been put together and when I reached out to my very good contact regarding the Princess Royal, she said absolute nonsense. Don't know where this story is related to, but it's certainly not related to the Princess Royal. To gain, who do you actually believe where these stories are coming from? The people that genuinely were there, or somebody who's possibly found a figment of their imagination and figured this is a great way of filling a paragraph. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.